What is good, y'all? Sam Animations here, back with another video for you guys, and this will be my first ever tutorial. I know you guys have long awaited for it, and now I've finally delivered. It took me forever to get in the mood to do it, though. So sorry. Anyhow, today, I'll be talking about easing and anticipation. We'll start with easing first. Easing is extremely important when it comes to any form of animation because it helps make the movement look more natural and more fluid. A great example of this is this ball right above the stick figure. Take a look at how it moves with no easing. It looks choppy and ugly, right? Now take a look at this. It looks way more smooth, but both use the same amount of frames, which is 24. The reason why the second one looks so much better is because the first 5 to 6 frames and the last 5 to 6 frames progressively move the ball more and more or less and less and it gives it a more natural feel. I'll do the same thing with the stick figure now by putting its arm down. Here it looks really natural. Now this is it choppy without easing. It makes a huge difference you guys, trust me. Now enough with easing, here's anticipation. Anticipation guides the viewer to know what action the character is about to do next. For example, I'll move these rocks and launch them at the stick dude. Notice how I make him squat. This now allows the viewer to analyze that he's getting ready to initiate an action, which is going to be a thrust forward, he jumps up, punches the rock, and then he'll twirl around and land. It'll look really nice. Now, I'll launch these two rocks at him. Look at how I got him ready to begin his next attack before fading it to black. And that's really what it comes down to. Guys, this is my first tutorial ever, so please let me know if I should fix anything to make it better for the next tutorial. That is all for today. Peace out, you guys.